Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Homein TV. So today I'm going to tell you how you can make some of these cool worksheet layouts in Dorico. So let's go. All right. So this is super exciting and I really like to make this kind of stuff because it's really fun. And um, in order to do that, we have two ways of doing them. And today I'm going to tell you how you can use them with a, with a Coda function in Dorico or with the frames. Okay. So now let's start with the codas. And for this, I'm gonna uh, open a new project here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So I'm gonna just add three extra bars here. And it was two for remember. And I'm gonna just add some notes here just for the sake of fun. All right. And I'm gonna just duplicate this. Now I'm, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna click on this line here and go to the right side and into this repeat structures. Okay, and remember this is the coda. Uh, we're using coda function to make uh, the worksheet. Okay, now I'm gonna press on the coda here and as you can see, the score has been separated quite neatly. Now I'm gonna do the same again with the other bars. And what I like is that it also keeps the, um, the clefs here and it's super nice. And you might say, hey, what are these? Well, we can hide them. Just click control and click on, uh, I'm sorry, hold control and can click on all of these guys here and go down and simply hide them. And if you don't have this panel open, just click on the arrow. And because we select the coda, we have the repeat markers here and you can hide them. Super neat. And if you want, you can also change the ending, uh, the, the bar line at the end. Okay. So you can just do as you want. All right. And I'm going to add this one. Okay. And now there's also this two, four here. I want to also hide this because it's not really necessary. And as you can see, it's gone. Now, two more things to add here. One, I will actually want to remove and want to add. One is that I don't like this piano here. So I'm going to press J and I'm going to open my uh, layout options. Okay. And I'm going to go to players. I think it was, or it was in staffs and systems. Yeah. So it's in staffs and systems here. And you can see the staff labels, the first one, which is also opens here. And I'm going to say, Hey, I don't want any staff label on my first system or staff label on any subsequent system. So I'm just going to click none and apply. And as you can see, it has been neatly uh, organized here. Then the piano is removed. And there is one more thing to add here, which is nice. And that is the, uh, you know, the, the, the choices, you know, the ABCD or whatever you want to add. You can use texts or whatever you wish, but it's also fun to use some other features here, such as the rehearsal mark thingy here, you know, the rehearsal mark. And you just click on this keyboard and you have the A here, which is the rehearsal mark. And this is my first one. And I copy it. Command C or Control C, and then Command V, Control V, and neatly they go here. And next, it's simply you can go to your engrave mode. All right, just select your frame. Now I'm just going to make it pretty, so you can do as much as 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 good as you want. Uh, as you can see, I cannot really select the frames here. Whoop. And because you have to go to your frames here, you select them. Okay, I went to the frame to the left. As you can see, they're, they're, they're selectable. And I'm going to just uh, bring it down a bit. All right, maybe I also delete this flow here because I don't really need it. And I can make a text frame right up here. And I double click on it. And I say select your music or whatever. All right. And yeah, basically that's it. It's super easy to make and super fun. And uh, everything is just neat and organized. Now, yeah, let's go to the second method here. Hey, are you tired of your old mouse pad? 
Get a short pad and make your desk a happy place. And the second method is a bit more complicated, but also it has its own uses, okay? And that involves adding different flows, okay? So let's say uh, for this method, we, we're gonna have like a mother flow, okay? So this is the mother flow, let's call it uh, the mother. And I'm gonna have baby flows as well, okay? So three baby flows, okay? So we have the mother, we have flow two, flow three and flow four, all right? The names don't really matter. So I'm just gonna to go to this uh, flow here, the empty flow. And also maybe it's nice to show it, show it back to you. Um, so you get an idea. This is what are we gonna make? Okay, one, two, three, and then with the texts, okay? Now let's go down, all right. Now I'm just gonna write some random stuff here. Let's say three, four, blah, blah. And then this one, and this one's gonna be four, four. And this one, just some random notes, okay? Yeah. All right, so we have now our babies and now we're gonna connect them to the mother, right? And what we can do is that I'm gonna go to engrave mode all right, and uh, go to the mother layout. So don't make a mistake, it has to be in the mother layout. And I'm gonna again go to my frames because that's how you can select frames. And I will just simply click on this one and I will delete it because I don't want it right now, okay? But what can I do, uh, what I can do is that I'm gonna make a new music frame here Okay, I'm gonna make it like this. All right, yeah, it's already some music here. Let's see from which flow is it, it's flow four. As you can see it up here, it's like flow, flow four. All right, but I don't want it from flow four, I don't want, I want it from flow two. As you can see, it has been added from flow two, and this was my flow two, okay? And we just keep doing this as much as we can because these are connected to my different flows, right? And I make this one here. And I just select the flow that I want, flow three. Lovely. And then this one. All right. And that's my last flow. So we have all these three beautiful flows here. Now I can just simply go here and add the uh, text frame here. Super nice, I come here, double click, hello, all right, and so on and so on. Text again, and then text again. All right, so now you can also change a little bit of the way it, that it looks. For example, I'm gonna go to this note spacing here and uh, you can just select, you know, the, the arrow there, you know, well, the, not the arrow, but the box there, and just by holding Alt and the arrow, you can just go back and forth between the different sizing that you want, and this one as well, but this is up to you if you wanna make it small or big or whatever you want, or you want to add uh, some different texts here, but in general, it's really as as easy as it looks. It's not really that difficult. And uh, yeah, uh, that, that was it. That was, uh, that was super easy. And uh, yeah, I hope that you make cool stuff with it. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you have also ideas about this or the new cutaway feature, please uh, do let us know in the comment section. Till next time, Omayun out.